Hello there. Welcome to Design Guru. Today I am going to show you how to use extrapolate in surface. So let's get started. Why we are using extrapolate command? Extrapolate is used to increase the surface and keeping the continuity same as the previous surface. So let's see how i have created this surface first see the surface how i have created it first i have created a sketch i have created this sketch by using this three arc three point arc command this i have created by r radius then i have taken the plane and this plane i have taken in zx direction okay then again I have created the second sketch is of same semicircle of radius 70 R70 then for joining them I have used multi section command which we will get in surface multi section command okay this sketch 1 sketch 2 so we have created our surface on which we have to extrapolate it you can see this this surface you see it's a curvature shape so let's see the extrapolate command it's in operation in operation you will see extrapolate this extrapolate and for creating extrapolate i need to boundary first of all boundary i will create a boundary for extrapolating it and for boundary i need points so for creating points i will create extremum so go in wireframe in that point in point you can see extremum command so let's see the extremum command first keep the keep this surface in x direction okay i am going to extrapolate this surface okay now go to extremum click extremum here in one pop-up will be arrived you can see extremum definition in that element direction one direction two and direction three you can give the extremum in one two three four three directions so i'm going to give only in one direction so i will go to the element element and my element is surface whatever i have created with multi section click here in direction go to right click in that edit component in that edit component i will take the i want to extrapolate this surface so i will take the point here one and one point two i will use the four coordinate system so i have created my component in first coordinate system so here in first coordinate system you will get both the values positive so I will give the positive value to y and z and x should be 0 so I will give x equal to 0 y equal to 1 and z equal to one. ok so here I have seen the point you can see it click ok again I want the point here for creating boundary I need two extremum points so I will create one point here again go to the extremum command here again select element same direction in that right click edit component in that edit component now i want the point in downward double in fourth coordinate system so in that x should be zero y should be one and z should be minus one here two values should be positive and one is negative click ok click ok now i have you have you can see this two extremum point has been arrived now i can easily create the boundary so there is a boundary command in operation in operation you can see this this in that extracts you can go boundary click boundary boundary definition when pop-up is there arrived uh, propagation type surface edges limit 1 and limit 2 propagation time you can see various propagation types complete boundary 
if you want complete boundary then you should have to click complete boundary if point continuity in if you want point continuity then you should give a point continuity tangent if you want a tangent surface then you should have go to tangent continuity uh, now i don't want any continuity so i will go to no propagation okay select surface my surface should be this surface and my limit should be whatever the extremum points i have created for my limits so that i will select extremum 1 and extremum 2 now uh, you can see this arrow here i should zoom in you can see this so if i will change the arrow you will see boundary has been arrived here okay so this shows that so you will extrapolate this surface on this side where there is arrow that surface is going to be extrapolated if you want to extrapolate this full surface then you should have to change the arrow again so this surface is gonna extrapolate this green color boundary highlights where the surface is going to get extrapolated now i want to extrapolate this surface so i have again change the arrow this this surface i want to get extrapolate click ok this i got a boundary hide the extremum points okay now i get the boundary my uh, my input is ready for creating extrapolate surface. Now again, go to extrapolate operation. In operation, we will get extrapolate. In extrapolate, you will see this extrapolate command. Click here. Boundary, extrapolate, limits, type length, whichever you want. Continuity, extremities, propagation mode. That's it. So I will go into create boundary. The boundary which I have created by using two extremum points create boundary extrapolate which surface you want to extrapolate i want to extrapolate this surface so i will select this surface length how much length you want to select i want I will select 15 mm okay then continuity here again uh, this two continuities the tangent and curvature so continuity i have told you previously that i want curvature continuity because the surface i have created curvature so i will go and create curvature extremities the extremities I have created is uh, tangent, so I am going to select tangent. Okay, propagation mode. Then I don't want to, uh, don't have any propagation mode because you know you can see in a previous command boundary I have created, I have used propagation, no propagation. So here also I will use none. Okay, click okay. Now you can see this extrapolate command, extrapolated surfaces. I will hide this. Okay, now you can see our extrapolate surfaces is ready. Now you can see I will hide this extrapolate and uh, I will show this surface what I have made previously. If you liked my video, then hit the like button and subscribe my channel for the upcoming new videos. If you have any query, then comment in the comment section. Nice to see you in my other video. Take care, bye bye.